living up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students. Today we are going to continue with chapter 3 diversity in living things and their classification. In the previous session we have seen diversity in plants. Today we are going to cover classification of plants. Students identify the person shown in this picture. He is a very famous scientist. His name is Carolus Linnaeus. He was a Swedish scientist who made the first scientific classification of plants. He is also called father of taxonomy which is the system of classifying and naming organisms. Let us see the classification of plants given by him. According to him, plants can be categorized in four categories. Size and height of stem, period of life cycle, habitat and whether the plant bear flowers or not. According to the size and height of the stem, plants can be further classified as Tree, example, neem. Shrub, example, oleander. Herb, example, coriander. According to the period of life cycle, that means how long the plant lives, according to this category, it can be further classified as annual, example, javar. Biennial, example, carrots. Perennial, example, mango. According to the habitat, means the place where the plants grow. It can be further divided as land, example, pomegranate. Water, example, lotus. Marshy areas, example sawgrass, and desert, example cactus. The last and the final category whether the plant bear flowers or not. This category can be further divided as flowering plant, example rose, and non flowering plant, example ferns. Let us understand this classification in more detail. Trees. We can easily notice the difference in the shape and the height of the plant in our surroundings. It is very easy to classify plants on this basis. Plants which grow very tall and have strong hard stem or trunk are called trees. They have branches which are at some height above the ground. They bear flowers and fruits for many years. Example, mango tree and neem tree. The leaf of neem tree looks like this. Next is shrub. Plants which grow up to a medium height are called shrubs. They have branches which are very close to the ground. They are shorter and smaller than trees but they have a thick and hard stem. Example hibiscus. The flower of hibiscus looks like this. And oleander. Its flower look like this. Plants which grow 1 to 1.5 meters tall 
and have green and quite flexible stem as compared to the tree are called herbs they live for few months or two years few months to two years example coriander and mint you can see the size of this plant is very very small as compared to shrubs and trees trees are the longest then shrub in between and finally the smallest are herbs can you identify the plants shown in the picture yes pumpkin watermelon and money plant now can you tell me so which category do these plants belong to trees shrubs herbs no they belong to all together different category which is called vines the other name for vines is creepers and climbers the stem of creeper is very flexible soft and green it grows rapidly with the help of support some vines need support vertical support for growing while some other spreads on the ground climbers like money plants they have aerial roots you can see in this picture this are the aerial roots which help them for climbing as well as they help the plant for respiration annual plants the life cycle of this plant is of 1 year means the plant grow in complete 1 year example jowar this are the seeds of jowar and sunflower sunflower as you can see here in the picture there are various uses of sunflower it is used as food in making oil in decoration purposes as well as in making paper also it is very important as a biodiesel it has a great potential to offset the use of petrol and diesel and farmers also serve sunflower as a food to their livestock biannual the life cycle of this plant is of 2 years as the name itself suggests bi bi means two so the plants having the life cycle of 2 years are called bi example carrot and beetroot perennial the life cycle of this plant is of several years mostly trees come in this category they live for many years like 100 200 years example mango tree and gulmohar tree flowering plants they have flowers and they produce seeds and fruits they have structures like roots stem and leaves and they are more evolved example lotus and rose non flowering plants they do not produce flowers seeds and fruits they may have or they may not have structures like roots stems and leaves and they are less evolved example mosses and ferns thank you so much in the next session we will start with structure of plant thank you